terrible thing. Men and women risking their lives every day for the safety of their country. You would think, for all they have done, they would get the best care and compensation possible, but yet, they do not always. Hi, I'm Anthony Anaya. Do you know why we have the rights and privileges that we do today in America? It's because of our American veterans. They are some of the strongest and bravest men and women out there. But did you know that every one in 10 American veterans don't have the right health care that they deserve? In fact, some 300,000 veterans have been without health care for so long that they have died waiting. And not having the right health care can even affect the families as well. My name is Christina Earlman. I am the widow of a Marine who served in World War II, Guadalcanal. He passed away four years ago. We were married 37 years, very happy. We, did a, we had a very good retirement together. Of course, I miss him. We did okay, I guess, what can I say? When, uh, when he died, then I didn't get his pension because he, he wasn't married to me when he retired from the Marines and he didn't put me down as his beneficiary. I think that there should be something we could do. I mean, this is something that my husband neglected to do. It seemed like that I should be getting something because I was married to him for 37 years and I took care of him when he uh, got real feeble and I took care of him here at home. As long as I could hold him up and clean him up and feed him and all that, I did all that for him. And I think I should have got compensated for him, but I didn't, so now I'm struggling. Many like Christina Ullman have had bad experiences with the VA and other veteran services. I think people are concerned about the time it takes to uh, get approved, you know, and I went through the similar kind of thing. In fact, I was denied the first couple times until I was uh, at a school in Texas, and I was in school with a guy that had worked for the VA, and uh, he told me to apply again, and uh, so it took me two or three years to, to finally get my uh, initial benefits. But I think, you know, the initial getting people uh, evaluated, get their initial evaluations done, probably needs more resources. Many of our veterans that have come back from war are traumatized and they do not have the right care that they need. We need to do something about this. Sandy, my granddaughter, she was in the Air Force. She had three deployments to, uh, one to Iraq and two to Afghanistan. She came back a mess from Afghanistan. I mean, right now she's having very, very bad problems because she came back with that PTSD and uh, she just didn't come back the right, the same girl that went in. P PTSD is all new, so obviously the VA now has to staff up and get, you know, maybe more mental uh, health doctors than they do maybe primary doctors and some of that, so it, it has to become a priority. This means we must remove the stigma associated with seeking help. This means we must hire more mental health professionals and more who have served in combat zones themselves. This means the VA must provide after-hour services. Some of our veterans have even had bad experiences with the VA. Let's take a look. Absolutely. I, I used to take my husband down to the VA in Oakland. I was so disappointed in the way they treated him and the way they took care of him and everything. They, one day, oh, one day that I took him down, he had an uh, anxiety attack. And my husband was a mess. He thought he was dying, and they didn't do nothing. They just put him to bed and put him there and let him cry and rant and rave. They didn't do anything, so I, I was really disappointed. Every time I went, I was disappointed, and there was one doctor there that didn't even check him out. All he did was get on the computer while we were waiting in the room. Never even talked to him. I've spoken through with veterans throughout my district, and a common theme that emerges is that they have lost faith in the VA. I think the benefits are really pretty good. They're, you know, they're really fairly generous. You know, once you get into the system and get approved, uh, I know. The pharmaceutical people have been fabulous. I get, you know, my pharm pharmaceuticals in the mail just like you would at Kaiser or anything like that. I've just been extremely pleased with the, you know, the kind of service and, and uh, that I've received from them. Even if our veterans do get the health care, 
The treatment is not always the best. Some would even say it's the worst our country provides. I think they should pay more attention. They should get new doctors. I think that the doctors that they hire at the VA are probably the lowest ones there is. They're, they're not very good doctors, let's put it that way. What are we saying we do? For starters, easier ways for our veterans to get their benefits. Another idea, better nationwide coverage plans. And to hire new and educated doctors as well as more mental health professionals. These are just some ways that the government can improve our veterans' health care and compensation system. Clearly, our American veterans aren't getting what they deserve. Let's change that. I'm Anthony Anaya, and thank you for watching.